Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that say stick up. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Feel I'm in the mood for a change up. I leave the city and return with my change up. They got amnesia, don't remember how they played us. They wanna knock me down, but somehow I just stay up. Look, straight from the mud like Ruby. Straight to the stage, they love me. I understand they hungry, but please don't hate, that's ugly. I've been sliding, shaking. I'm right here on uh, Highway 27 in uh in Davenport, Davenport, Florida. It's a Love's right here on the corner. So I pulled in, and it was maybe let's just say 20 pumps or something like that. Maybe maybe even less, maybe 10. And so I pulled behind him because I, I specifically saw I didn't see the, the pumps on his truck. So I'm like, all right, cool. He's done. He's getting ready to leave. Strategy, strategy. Right. <laughs> Boom. And I and that, and that shows my level of urgency. Okay, cool. Let me choose the one that's getting ready to leave so I can do my thing, get up out of here. So I pull in behind him. You know what I'm saying? I don't see him. I just assumed, you know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. He's in the truck, really getting ready to leave. I hadn't even put it. I, I was out, ain't no even pointing and setting the brakes. So then after a while, I see his passenger door open. Maybe his wife's gonna get out or something like that right there. You know what I'm saying? He gets, you know what I'm saying, gets out. I guess he had climbed in there to get the weights from the sleeper berth or something like that, ran. And literally start working on biceps, <laughs> triceps, all that. Uh, he made me do some squats in it or something like that. And I'm looking. At, and so when I see him do this, I double check just to make sure. I was like, well, maybe I missed it. Maybe he does have a pump, you know what I'm saying, just attached to the truck. None of that, man. And the crazy thing is I'm sitting there behind him. And, of course, everybody hears a semi-truck pull up. I mean, it's just the loudest thing on the road. You know what I'm saying? He didn't even look and acknowledge me that I was back and give me like, you know, okay, hey, man, one second, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to be done with this workout in a minute. None of that. You know what I'm saying? Just did this as, as if this was normal, as if when he's done, I'm going to do the same thing almost. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, that's probably the most bizarre thing I've, I've seen, man. What's up, bro? What's going on? What's going on? Hanging out, hanging out, man. Good, good, Yeah, good. you know, Kevin, uh, you know, welcome to the show. You know, when we post this video, uh, definitely want to highlight and shout you out. So instead okay. of shouting you out at the end where every podcast and YouTube video does, let, let's do it in the beginning, man. Let's let's okay. you know, uh, introduce yourself, shout out your channels, everything, man. You know, Absolutely. That beautiful hat you got on, you know, all of it, you know. All right, cool. Um, of course, I'm Kevin. Um, most people will probably know me online as uh, 18 Willing. That's E18. Uh, H T E N W H E E L I M. You know what I'm saying? When you type the E one eight and everything will come up on TikTok, uh, Instagram as well. Um, and what we do pretty much is just uh, we make apparel for the new age trucker. You know what I'm saying? Right now, trucking I think has gotten pretty young. You know what I'm saying? It kind of it's it's, it's yeah. guys you you're seeing guys at truck stops with uh Jordans on, ball caps like man, you have them right now. You know what I'm saying? Hoodies and and, and, and vintage. You know what I'm saying? Uh t-shirts and stuff like that right there but at the same time we're still getting the job done you know what i'm saying i know a lot of you know what i'm saying maybe older truckers may look at us when we show up with our jordans or maybe our flip-flop slides or something like that you know what i'm saying as 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 if we're uh not capable of doing the job but uh but we're, we're getting it done we're just we're just getting it done in, in the new way and um and last point like i said i want to make is that uh truckers get a bad rap for the way we look you know what i'm saying all the time it's always oh man it's a dirty truck driver so we're we're here to kind of you know what I'm saying kind of change the the narrative on how we how we how we look and how we perceive you know what I'm saying we can, we can dress nice and and presentable and still be you know what I'm saying respected in the industry and let's be honest um right now I mean I I think you know what I'm saying us younger in the generation is kind of carrying the industry you know what I'm saying because uh a lot of the older drivers at least when I came into it in 2016 was always telling us don't do it don't get into it it's not you know you know the whole thing it's not what it used to be you know what I'm saying which is crazy because now we're probably Telling some of the newer guys that same thing because of where rates are and stuff like that. You know, uh, no, that's cool, man. Because yeah, I see, I see some gear behind you. I don't know, is that just for the backsplash or is that some of the gear right there behind you? Yeah, 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 man. Um, it's some, it's some pieces that are that are gonna come. Like I said, this right here uh, is a, would be a varsity style jacket. Um, and this right here would say off duty with the with the cup and stuff like that. With, um, this right here is a, a like a little bubble jacket. It'll say off duty and. Like I say, even though the name of the brand is 18 Willing, off duty would be, let's just say, our air to Nike. 
in a yeah. sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that, right there. We got we got a bunch of hats coming and stuff like that. Like I said, stuff that's that's relevant. This right here's a spin on the uh, the Baltimore uh, Oilers. You know what I'm saying? But it's branded for us. You know, OTR over the road, and this right here was the Lakers flip, which it is say local and stuff like that for the local drivers. And I think we got a hashtag that's uh local versus OTR and stuff like that. He's always the thing in trucking with us, you know what I'm saying? Which one's better, you know, all that kind of stuff. But um, but yeah, man, we we just we just having fun with it. And, and, and right now we're still at the beginning stages, man. No, I love it, man. You know, I, I love just to uh show you know people some 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 hunger, some success. And hey man, do something with your life. You know, this this uh take accountability for everything. Absolutely. Know, because I I would I would say you would agree with this as well is we've never really, really had a bad day ourselves. Now, if you have a, a family member or something like that that passed away, I mean that's a bad day. Absolutely, but, yeah. You know, when you really think about it, like anything and everything that's happened to your life is almost what makes you who you are now, you know? And I've never met a strong person that had a soft life. That's, that's correct. <laughs> you know? That's and, correct. And so, you know, I I think it's important that we, we we recognize those things so that when something good happens, you actually recognize that it's a good thing. That's right. That's you right. Know? That's and right. A, a lot of people they hate on trucking, like, man, you know, if you truck all year long, all you're gonna make is fifty, sixty thousand, you know. Say that to a guy that's making twenty thousand. Here's a here's a better point than that, man. Um, like I said, um, I'm I'm one of the uh, you know what I'm saying recently incarcerated. It's a lot of guys that was incarcerated, you know what I'm saying, and still are incarcerated, you know what I'm saying, um, that are making a dollar a day or 40 cent a day. You know what I'm saying? They're laying on the bunk or on the yard praying, you know what I'm saying, for our worst days, you know what I'm saying, which is maybe 50, 60,000 or even as an owner operator, who knows what, you know what I'm saying, with those those rates, or especially now, you know what I'm saying, so, so yes, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, it's, it's like, can you, can you really say, you know what I'm saying? You're having a bad day. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate, I mean, every day, appreciate, appreciate, appreciate all of that. And another thing about, you know what I'm saying? Um, people that are actually incarcerated and coming out, man, um, with them always saying that there's a, a, a driver shortage and stuff like that right there. A lot of those guys are help filling that void, you know what I'm saying? That driver shortage, you mean, and, and keeping, you know what I'm saying, quote unquote, America running and moving forward, you know what I'm saying? These are recently incarcerated people, you know what I'm saying? So that's another thing, like you said, um, trying and trucking is one of those things, like I, I mentioned to you yesterday, man. Um, let's go, like I said, all 40 and beyond, you know what I'm saying? Let's let's change the the way everything is perceived and the way everything looks, you know what I'm saying? And, and we'll go a lot further, man. Mm, Cause, you know, I'm I'm not here to ever judge anyone on how many chances because nobody's perfect absolutely but i would almost say you know somebody that's just say been to jail or prison or anything like that it, a lot of times from friends that i've had that have been you know in prison or whatnot they told me like they're they're by themselves a lot they gotta do things by themselves they like quiet they like this and then when you think about uh trucking otr yeah. is it's almost the same type of personality. Exactly. Exactly. You know? man. And again, it's like, you know, I can't really speak on this because you can, but it's almost like you don't even know what a good thing is until someone takes away your freedom, regardless if that was something that was brought on by yourself or not. Or what yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, you know, People don't usually become extremely good people uh, until sometimes those people were the the the, the scary guys and gals. That's right. That's right. And, and sometimes you don't become an extremely good person. So, like you said, sometimes you you have to go through that bad just to appreciate how how how, how things were and, and have a, a level of appreciation for things going forward as well, man. Um, like I said, man, um, uh, this last. You know what I'm saying? A few years, like I said, we had maybe three trucks and stuff like that right there. And then this year, everything just to me just went all the way bad to the point where it was just like, man, it was literally cheaper to park it and just to get rid of it and all that kind of stuff, man. Um, mm -hmm. at, at least for me, you know what I'm saying? Um, so uh, like I said, stuff had to go all the way, you know what I'm saying? I guess all the way bad for you kind of, you know what I'm saying, appreciate things a, a little this and a third, you know what I'm saying? Um, and at times, sometimes I even consider, you know what I'm saying, maybe going and doing some 
just even uh what's the thing uh like just going back to a company driver and stuff like that right there which you know what i'm saying at one time i used to be like ah oh, why don't you just do it for yourself this in the third sometimes you'd be like you know what man i gotta re-humble myself and just go back to you know what i'm saying this right here just to kind of regroup man uh, i think that's great advice you know i uh, i gave some type of advice like that you know uh i think people they they're mis they got misdirection sometimes and you know sometimes people care so much more about being a business owner than just providing for their family there you go and you know it's the ego in check right it's right. it's just one of those things where it's someone would rather have a nice truck and brag that they made two hundred thousand gross but only pocketed 20 grand than exactly. someone that works for a, a mega carry that might actually pocket 40 50 60 grand exactly and so it's just it's a little bit of that ego and i don't i don't want to call it a a, a guy ego thing but sometimes i feel like you know, we are we were taught, at least in you know, my background, we're taught to be these protectors mm -hmm. and, and taught to, you know, uh try to be more. And so I kind of did that too, man. I'm not even gonna lie. Like when I was moving furniture, uh -huh. I was I was making I was grossing like two hundred and fifty, sometimes three hundred thousand dollars check for a whole year gross. Wow. Mind you that moving furniture. You might get paid thirty thousand dollars for one load, but that's include you got to hire the people there. You got to hire the people on the other side. Sometimes the truck right. don't fit. Now you got to hire a U-Haul truck. Right. So now you got to pay them double, and then you got to pay for the boxes. So at the end of that, you really from that thirty thousand maybe net seven. Okay. Exactly. And, and maybe that's not even before taxes. Remember, people, uh, if you don't have any understanding of taxes, just cut out thirty percent, and you're there you gonna. Go. Right. But what was I said? What was I telling people, Kevin? Let's be honest, man. I just made 30 that man. Exactly. 30, <laughs> exactly. Hey, listen, and you didn't include none of the breakdown in the, in the scenario you just gave right there. You didn't, you didn't include any of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, that, and that stuff is like I said, the crazy thing is it's inevitable. When you're dealing with these trucks, when we're putting all these miles on it weekly, yearly, this, that, that, it's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 it's, it's going to happen, man. Um, and I think that the best thing with trucking is just being able to find your sweet spot. Yours may be different from somebody else's. You know what I'm saying? You might be able to say, "Hey, listen, I could I could survive off eight nine hundred dollars a week." You know, somebody else, hey, they they might need to pretty much net two thousand dollars a week. You know what I'm saying? To be able to come up with it. So so everybody's situation is going to be totally different. No, but I, you but you're right. It's a it's a man thing sometimes and an ego thing with the whole uh. I gotta own my own truck, and I gotta just that in the third, or or it, even the whole thing with uh, I gotta have my own authority. I remember at one time it, it was one of those things. You know, I got to have my own authority. I gotta, you know, what I'm saying this in the third, and 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 sometimes you don't need that because technically, um, on on the last leg of mine, um, I had one with this other company that was pretty much um, the reason the benefit for authority was me was being able to have that money pretty much paid out daily. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So when I found a, a, a actual a company out of California that was doing that, um, and I'll shot them a, a cloud, um, they was pretty much, you know what I'm saying, doing that. And I was like, okay, cool, this works. I didn't have to pretty much worry about that major down payment for insurance and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. In the third, they took care of, you know what I'm saying, your, your back office stuff. So that worked, you know what I'm saying, without having any, I still got the benefits of that, you know what I'm saying, of having my own authority without, you know what I'm saying, upfront costs. No, that's, that's important, man. You know, yeah. this conversation is important because, uh, humbling yourself and and being able to I think being able to adapt is what uh, keeps people successful you know everyone I talk to that is able to adapt in their current situation every time you know you you, you try something once it doesn't work out okay you try it again doesn't work out maybe three or four times even you know you believe in it because sometimes right. it takes that much to to get something to work but at right. one point you have to say hey this direction ain't working there you go. And, <laughs> I, I need a shift and I need to move. Right. And right. so for all the listeners out there, when we post this video, just know that like, you know, in a time that's a struggle, you might have to shift and go from flatbed to tanker or right. tanker to, uh, you know, reefer or, uh, be a owner operator to company driver, right. you know, whatever it is, man, you know, um, we're just all here to provide for ourselves and our family. I mean, yeah, everything right. else, it, it don't really matter on that, man. No, this, this is, uh, definitely great discussions you know asking you on a personal side like you said you had three trucks when you when you you didn't lose the trucks but like when you 
when you parked the trucks, did you feel like you were kind of taking an L on that? Or what were your like true feelings on that? Um, okay, cool. Like you said, um, we, we got out to three trucks in a, in a trailer. Um, I didn't feel like, see, I mean, this, this, this is my thing right here. And, 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 a, and a lot of guys have been crucified me for this right here. I like trucking. I don't love it. <laughs> I like it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and I treat it like, uh, like I would say, uh, people do stocks. You know what I'm saying? At, at least the, the new age stock. You know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, when it's good to me, hey, I'll be all in this thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lose my shirt over it though. You know what I'm saying? I, yes, I know yes. people. I, I know people personally, man, that uh, they have uh, trucks or multiple trucks or whatever it is, and 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 again, and they own them, and they're literally. I mean, let's be honest, driving for free. You know what I'm saying? Praying they don't have a breakdown because then it'll be in the negative. So technically, just breaking even, just because they're keeping the ego or something like that. Like, man, bro, get rid of it. Um, but did I feel like I was taking a loss? No. Not, not at all. Not not at all. You know what I'm saying? It was almost I ain't gonna front. Honestly, I got rid of mine around uh early summer. And as I kind of still kind of keep my eye to what's going on with the rates and stuff like that right there. Hey man, listen, I still got it like whew, glad I got out of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. like oh uh, no, nah, no, nah, I don't I don't I don't think I'm taking an L by no means. And don't get me wrong, um this this eventually it is it'll settle out and um and once it settles, who knows? You know what I'm saying? Next time we do an interview, hey man, I got five more trucks. You're looking for a driver. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, but, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You you always gonna find success, man. It's like, you know, um, sometimes trucking, I think it it it, it breeds something new too. Like mm -hmm. I, ten years ago, me moving furniture, I didn't think that I would have a YouTube channel or an interview channel. Like, you know, mm -hmm. I, I didn't think that's what it was. But if I didn't do the trucking, I wouldn't have found something like this and it's almost like if you didn't do the trucking maybe you wouldn't have found your your apparel company you know? exactly and, you know, it's you know i think it's it's important to to be able to travel and now i know there's that local game versus otr uh both are awesome do what you do but that otr experience of just traveling across different states I mean, there's people that I talk to that haven't been out of the county. Like they haven't been out of the county line from where they really? live. Really? Yeah, there's just a lot of people that just they've never been anywhere, you know. And and you could kind of see trends when you travel. You could talk to different people that hey, this right here might be doing exceptionally well in right. Texas. Maybe we bring it back to Florida, and it might right. be a slam dunk, right? And right. so, I think just having that travel knowledge, it it kind of helps you. Kind of learn a little bit more about yourself too. I and agree, and and I think honestly, uh, um, like I said, I've, I've done, I've done, I've done both. I think uh, locally, I mean, to be honest, I think you work a little harder. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're at home, but you ain't at home. You're doing like eleven. It matters what you are. If you're a food service or right. your LTL or what, but if you're in like food service game or something like that, you ain't home. You waking up three o'clock in the morning exactly. and you get home. At eight. Exactly, 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 exactly. Like I said, um, if I had to choose, uh, yeah, I, I would, I would say the OTR is, 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 a, is a little better. Like you said, you could, you could, you could, you could plan your schedule a little bit. You can kind of stop, take your breather. You know what I'm saying? Usually, when I, when I was doing it, man, um, you know, it's an outlet on 95 everywhere, so I'm stopping at outlets. You know what I'm saying? Hanging out, getting stuff for the family and stuff like that, right there. So it's not as, uh, as like, I guess bearing down on me type of thing um but again the same thing you know what I'm saying? eventually you get lonely and you miss the house you miss the family and stuff like that right there but then that's when you, you can kind of maybe take you a break or something like that so you won't get burnt out but uh but yeah it's it's, it's a tough industry man hey, hey i love it man i love the you know when we have an honest conversation about things and you know it's you know let's let's talk about the the headliner in the title and then i'll put that in there and then okay. uh, and then you know this See, I'm kind of putting things together now where it's like we put the headliner so that people kind of enjoy what they want to see right away. Okay. But then we'll stay for the uh, the entire interview, like, you know what I mean? And, and, and enjoy this. And I want to have all guests on all the time. And just to, because, man, when we're trucking, all we have to do is think. That's right. And, and sometimes we feel like we're alone in the game. And, you know, when you look out in the street, you see everyone with nice cars, nice this, nice that. And you're like, why, why am I over here with my head barely over water? And then we have these conversations where everybody, we go, wait a minute. It's not just me. It, right. it, you know, 
uh, it, it's a collective, it's a community, and you know, you know, let's let's grow and win together, type of thing. You know, right. so you know, let's let's just segment this as I would say, it's always good to be healthy, but there are times to be healthy and exercise and work out, and there's <laughs> times to not do it. You know, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> so let's get into this right here. I mean. For all the new truck drivers out there, there's a couple things that truckers just, we all try to have respect for each other. And one of it is, hey, if, if you're done filling up, if you could move forward because we got to go, especially with this, you know, hours of service. I mean, we're, right. we own it now, right? So, right, right. You know, walk us through uh, what you saw because I thought it was a positive thing that he was getting his shoulder workouts and arm workouts. But you know, uh, taking up taking up the fuel out to do it and not pumping fuel or whatnot. Tell us where that happened. And All right, cool. So um, I'm right here on uh, Highway 27 in uh, in Davenport, Davenport, Florida. It's a Loves right here on the corner. So I pulled in, and it was maybe let's just say 20 pumps or something like that. Maybe maybe even less, maybe 10. And so I pulled behind him because I, I specifically saw I didn't see the, the pumps on his truck. So I'm like, All right, cool. He's done. He's getting ready to leave. Strategy, strategy. Right. <laughs> Boom. And I and that, and that shows my level of urgency. Okay, cool. Let me choose the one that's getting ready to leave so I can do my thing, get up out of here. So I pull in behind him. And you know what I'm saying? I don't see him. I just assumed, you know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. He's in the truck, really getting ready to leave. I hadn't even put it. I, I was out, you know, even pointing and setting the bricks. So then after a while, I see his passenger door open. Maybe his wife's going to get out or something like that right there. You know what I'm saying? He gets, you know what I'm saying, gets out. I guess he had climbed in there to get the weights from the sleeper berth or something like that, man. And literally start working on biceps, <laughs> triceps, all that. Uh, he maybe does some squats in it or something like that. And I'm looking. And so when I see him do this, I double check just to make sure. I was like, well, maybe I missed it. Maybe he does have a pump, you know what I'm saying, just attached to the truck. None of that, man. And the crazy thing is. I'm sitting there behind him, and of course, everybody hears a semi truck pull up. I mean, it's just the loudest thing on the road. You know what I'm saying? He didn't even look and acknowledge me that I was back and give me, like, you know, okay, hey, man, one second, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to be done with this workout in a minute. None of that. You know what I'm saying? Just did this as, as if this was normal, as if when he's done, I'm going to do the same thing almost. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. that's probably the most bizarre thing I've, I've seen, man. It just so happened to have my phone, like, right on the desk. I was like, let me show people what's going on here you know, what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know hey 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 but hats off to you for being patient most yeah. people usually they get outrageous and they start going up to people and then you know what i mean and so that was kind of yeah cool. if you look at the comments that's what a lot of people are saying you know what i'm saying they would have went up to him and blew the horn and all that kind of stuff uh i've had experience before especially when i was just starting off what you were saying we're not being patient and blowing the horn because at the end of the day how far are you really going to take it you know what I'm saying? So at the uh, end of the day, he could pretty much say, all right, cool. Now I'm going to really make you wait. Right, oh, yeah. Boy, now he's going leg day. Now he going leg day. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Hey, go take a shower. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? After the workout, go take a shower or something. Oh, man. Oh, man. No, but overall, you know, what would you what would you like pe uh, to leave people with, man, uh, in this interview? You know what I mean? Um, uh, like I said, man, um, mostly uh, it, it's, it's a thing just to kind of just 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 to get it out there. Like I said, um, of course, like you said, right now we have an apparel company, but ultimately we're just trying to change the stigma of the way people perceive truckers. Like I said, right now, um, nobody, I don't think even nobody even takes into account that, like I said, we really are the one. You see it as a joke all the time that's on the back of trucks it says, uh, if you're tired of truck drivers, stop buying stuff. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Um, we we keep America running in a in a sense. You know what I'm saying? And we're trying to change the the the, uh, the perception of what we look like. You know what I'm saying? We can be clean, respectable, and you know what I'm saying. As other uh, the driver at the pump, we can actually be in shape as well. You know what I'm saying? So um, we we just we're just trying to do that through apparel and and have fun with it. That that's all. That's cool, man. And and where can people purchase this apparel, man? You got to um, plug that. Um, Come on, Kevin. Say again? You got to plug where people can buy your apparel. Yeah, yeah. Um, Right now, uh, we got a website. It's e 18 -E 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 com, And you can find us that same thing on Instagram and also TikTok. And the TikTok is where you'll see that video here that we're actually discussing right now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll put links to all of uh, uh, 
all of that for you. If you can okay. message me that, that'd be cool. Absolutely. You know, want, and I'll put it in the descriptions and all that. And, you know, everybody go show Kevin some love. You know what I mean? And I appreciate it. Again, being patient while my man was doing his arms and legs. Right. Trying to get his thighs looking right for his girlfriend when he get home. You know what exactly, I mean? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um, one, one last thing. Um, Sometime next summer, maybe even in, um, maybe uh, early fall, we're going to be doing an 18-wheeling tour. You know what I'm saying? Um, ideally, we're going to pretty much get us a whole semi truck, whole trailer. And it's going to look like a full boutique, and we're going to pretty much go to different states and everything, and pretty much, you know what I'm saying, let people know what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? Why we're here and everything like that. So we'll, we'll be doing that sometime. Um, sometime in 2023. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then maybe something we'll reach out to you and pretty much, you know what I'm saying? Maybe something you can pretty much do as well. Maybe hey. our media, maybe be our media person. Yeah, I tell you what. Uh, you know, I love just supporting truck drivers, man. So you just let me know when you're doing something. I will. And, you know what I mean? Uh, through our conversations. I just like seeing people win. You know what I'm saying? That, and so uh, definitely uh, just let me know when that happens. And then, you know, we, we could promote you or do whatever. Okay. We'll get you back on the show. And that'd be cool, man. Absolutely. Hey, man, what well, I appreciate sharing your, pl um, your platform with us. Hey, that's it, man. Well, shoot, man. Have a great day. All right, you too. Yes, sir. Yeah.